step to Christ, a knowledge of God. The poet and the naturalist have many things to say about nature, but it is the Christian who enjoys the beauty of the earth with the highest appreciation because he recognizes his father's handiwork and perceives his love in flower and shrub and tree. No one can fully appreciate the significance of hill and valley, river and sea, who does not look upon them as an expression of God's love to men. God speaks to us through his providential workings and through the influence of his spirit upon the heart. In our circumstances and surroundings, in the changes daily taking place around us, we may find precious lessons if our hearts are but open to discern them. The psalmist, tracing the work of God provided, says, The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Whoso is wise and will observe these things, even they shall understand the loving kindness of the Lord. Psalms 33 verse 5 and 107 verse 43. God speaks to us in His Word. Here we have in clearer lines the revelation of His character, of His dealings with men, and the great work of redemption. Here is open before us the history of patriarchs and prophets and other holy men of old. They were men subject to like passions as we are. James chapter 5 verse 17 we see how they struggled through discouragements like our own, how they fell under temptation as we have done, and yet took heart again and conquered through the grace of God, and beholding, we are encouraged in our striving after righteousness. As we read of the precious experiences granted them, of the light and love and blessing it was theirs to enjoy, and of the work they wrought, through the grace given them, the spirit that inspired them kindles a flame of holy emulation in our hearts and a desire to be like them in character, like them to walk with God. Step to Christ, page 87.